<laughs> okay, take anyway. three. Okay, hey everybody, this is Jim Grzanzia from the Oracle Groundbreakers team, and we are in Stockholm, Sweden for, at uh, J Focus, and we're here at the Oracle booth, and I'm here with Peter Negi. Peter, welcome. Welcome, thank you. And I usually don't correct the people, but the correct pronunciation of my name is Peter Nagy. That's a ha yeah, Nagy. Nagy. Yeah, it's pretty hard for you because there is no such pronunciation in your language. Uh, so I'm, uh, usually I use Nagy, so this is the easiest way for me as well. <laughs> okay, so I mean, it's good that you corrected me because, I mean, honestly, I travel all over the place and I do these interviews, you know, for the team and I'm meeting, constantly meeting new people from all over the world and I can't pronounce anybody's name. So that's good. Thank you very much. Um, all right, Peter, so you are in product management in Hungary, right? Yes, basically I'm based in Hungary, but most of the uh, team members are in the U.S. I belong to the enterprise application development, Java development uh, team at Oracle, and i specifically responsible for Halidon project. So yeah, I actually interviewed, uh, had a conversation with one of your colleagues in Japan uh, about Project Halidon, and uh, Dimitri, uh, Dimitri, Dimitri Cornel. Dimitri Cornel, right, right, right. And um, really, really nice conversation. So let's just maybe start off with Helidon. What, what is Project Helidon? What's the status of the project at this point? Yeah, so, if, so in one sentence, it's a Java libraries to develop easily microservices. So it's all about microservices. Micro, it's a microservice framework to develop microservices. Um, so how it... Um, create it started so basically if you remember those times when we had this perfect uh, timing when we had this docker containerization something like that and uh, Java e applications somehow became too monolith uh, to manage to develop uh, those applications to maintain those application immediately the developer wanted something simpler and we entered this uh, rest uh, communication era so Docker containerization allows us to uh, implement uh, uh, application in a way, a small, tiny application packaged into a container and run it easily. Okay, but that time there were no such uh, frameworks. So if you remember, there were such kind of vacuum around here. And there were a lot of, you know, open source uh, initiative, um, a lot of other projects started, but uh, the, those were really, you know, focused on certain uh, problem, for example. And uh, time goes over, uh, the developer community and also the developers uh, realized the microservices application needs more, not just, you know, a library to have a REST endpoint interface. So what a microservice application uh, requires is a lot more, kind of a lot more. And here comes the picture, the microprofile specification. Uh, so after when the Java, uh, Java developers wants to uh, implement microservice application, um, they need some sort of features uh, to have in their microservice application. Uh, and microprofile specification uh, helps uh, in this way because that defines what is the minimum feature set which is necessary to have the microservices application so for example uh, you might want to uh, first yes uh, you might want to implement a rest endpoint this is the basic uh, thing in a microservice application but whenever you uh, deploy your microservice application immediately you need many other things like uh, you want to trace the call between microservices you might want to monitor your uh, microservices applications health and many other things and microprofile specification uh, uh, does this I mean uh, specify, specify uh, such feature set and uh, Halidon also fulfill this uh, specification, sp uh, support this specification, which allows you to make uh, really easily a microservice application. I would say microprofile is something like Java, uh, like Java E for enterprise application, but microprofile is a specification uh, kind of Java E for cloud applications. So it's a, it's a guidance how to uh, write uh, effectively and easily microservices application. Okay, and the project is relatively new. It's just been open source recently or last year or so? Yes, uh, it has been uh, open source something like one and a half year. 
So our first release, 1.0 release, uh, was uh, announced uh, last January 2019. So we're pretty uh, young. However, we are at, uh, at this moment we are at 1.4 version and we support the latest MicroProfile specification and we have a lot of cool features in our framework. So I can definitely recommend to try it and uh, uh, use it for microservices development. Cool. So you're obviously here in the booth. Actually, there's now you know, hundreds and hundreds of people behind the camera here. It was very, very quiet a moment ago, and now everybody's out um, you know, from sessions. Um, you're having conversations with developers here in the booth and obviously on the show floor and in sessions and things like that. What are some of the things that people are talking about in terms of you know this project? I mean, what are, just give me a sense of the you know, types of things they're asking, you know, like the interest level and you know things like that. Yeah, it's interesting, and I, this is why I always like to be here to get really in touch with the developers and the community, and I like to hear uh, their feedback on, on particular questions. So, I think the most common topic. So nowadays, the microservices development is pretty basic thing, so I would say. And uh, now the question is, which is the most efficient framework? I mean, to have your microservices application with a low footprint, with a fast startup time, and you know, uh, easy to develop, because it's important whenever uh, your developers coming from, for example, another world, for example, like Java E world, how is it to uh, train them to immediately uh, be productive in microservices world? And these are the, the, the main points. Um, and also, a lot of question around what other additional features behind the basic features, you know? So for example, integration uh, with certain third party libraries or something like that. But again, the main uh, pain points, easy development, fast startup time, and low memory footprint. So these are the main requirements. And this is the main uh, thing, what they are considering when select the microservices framework. So is the project resonating with developers? I mean, it's still relatively new, it's growing, but it seems to me, I mean, I've been watching you guys here, you've been busy, so it must be resonating. Yes, definitely. It's getting really a competitive market uh, nowadays. So if you see the other vendors are uh, coming out with their solution as well, and also, at least we have this microprofile specification which gives some guidance among these uh, frameworks, and uh, obviously, on top of the specification, the question is the performance, you know, the additional features for other uh, libraries as well, for example. But these are the main questions. So we have now the basics with this microprofile specification, the feature specification, and uh, how they will select the microservices framework is basically on the performance and uh, the developer experience as well. So I wonder, do you get out to a lot of conferences and you know talk to developers you go to mostly oracle conferences or actually this is a you know, this is an industry conference here um, is this something you do as a regular part of your job yeah this is somehow part of my job uh, but this is really mixed so uh, i also attend on uh, oracle conferences oracle sponsored conferences but on meetups on uh, Yes, user groups. So, yeah, we would like to spread out the word about uh, Helidon. And also, I think we need to evangelize also this microprofile specification as well, because the awareness of this specification was pretty low, but now it's, it's getting better and better. Because, you know, the community realizes uh, a need about such guidance, because this is what uh, helps them to develop really a good microservices application. Like, as I told you, like Java E in case of the Java enterprise applications, okay? So you can develop any, you can develop an application using Java in many ways. But if you want, you know, a really uh, good managed way, you are going to use some guidance, which is a specification sub, which supports your development. Cool. Well, Peter, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. And now that everybody's out here, the booth's going to start filling up, so I know you got to work. So thanks a lot, and we'll see you a little bit later. And this is Jim Grisanzio here from um, Stockholm. We're in Stockholm. <laughs> see you guys. Bye-bye.